Uh, yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the STI. It's a Tier 9 Russian heavy tank, and the map is Overlord. Um, I really don't like this map very much, but I, I now I know why they did what they did. In part, when, you make a, when they make these maps, they try to make it so that each team has an equal chance of winning, so they ma make the map symmetrical. And it's pretty cool being on the beach and everything, but the question is, why do they have all these weird mounds all over the place? And I realized that the reason why is probably because they don't want you to view across the map because it puts extra load on the server. So what I think they did was they made it uh, difficult to see across the map so they don't have to compute as far. They do a lot less computations a lot less load on the server. So that's my theory. And the reason why I came up with that theory is that I was wondering, like, how do you make a map that has, uh, like, how, if you make a bigger map with low server usage, you have to have fewer buildings and and Target things fire. like that. I mean, come on, there's roof, room here for both of us. Come on. We didn't even scratch them. So that, that guy screwed up a chance. And he's blocking me. So that guy's a jackass. He he was blocking me way too much. You know, I hope he dies. To be honest, I'm gonna let him die. I'm not even gonna try. Him. He obviously deserves to die. So he screwed it up. I mean, I could have uh, put a, a solid shot on one of those enemy tanks, but he was blocking me, which... And I could have sworn I was here first. To uh, maybe I wasn't. I don't know. But, you know, he was preventing me from taking my shots and, and uh, preventing me from hiding. And I, he was hiding behind me. Okay, so I got screwed. I got to find out what tank that is and, and complain against him because I think it was an object uh, 140. Yeah, so to complain against someone, you go over here to where his tank is, and you do complain. And you do, uh... It used to say, um, pushing out an ally. And pushing out an ally is a way you kill somebody without shooting them. You get behind them and you push their tank so that everybody else can shoot at them. Or, in his case, he was hiding behind me and I couldn't reverse because he was blocking me. And uh, he, it was way too exce excessive. It's like, how could he not know that he was uh, colliding with me? Which is really sad. I really need a good game for this tank. You know, today we have the five-time victory. 
and um, uh, th that could have been, you know, I only have a few more games in this tank before I upgrade. So this is the IS-8, which is another tank that I'm probably going to purchase in a few days, maybe tomorrow. But I'm not going to buy this exact one, because this one obviously just exploded. The Centurion is a medium tank, and I love the, the, the Tier 8 Centurion, which is what I'm currently driving. It's very fast. Uh, the first game out, I got a lot of kills with it, which was a great surprise. And it's kind of like, I don't, you know, they call it a medium tank. I'm sure that the armor is is thinner and the gun is weaker, but it's like driving a, a, a tier 8 heavy tank or, or a lower tier heavy tank. It's not like the Comet and the Crusader, but it's a wonderful tank. I really love it. I used to say that on that line, the Cruiser the Crusader, the Covenanter, the Comet, that it was getting worse and worse until I got this to the Centurion. The Centurion really hustles. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ah, he missed. And he didn't ram. I don't know if that was a ram or not. I would, I would have laughed so hard if they had missed that. What the hell was that? Did he just land on his own tank? Now this is what makes the game fun. I love it when people are diving off and and, and using it trying to kill other tanks. So that was a cool ending. <laughs> Tank diving. Oh, we won, but I didn't. I didn't get a lot of credits, so. Uh, well, it's better than nothing. It's more than I would have gotten if we had the double victory. As you can see, I only need uh, twenty-five thousand in order to get the IS four. Um, I'm going to show you my Russian tank line. The IS-8, I could literally get it right now if I wanted. I probably will play one or two games tomorrow, and I'll buy it. Which is unfortunate. I'm going to miss the uh, the discount. Um, unless I hustle and play that game today. So a little bit more about the STI. The crew from the STI can play in the IS-6. Right now, my IS-6 has the crew from my IS-3 because he's my best crew. And you can see that I really have these guys um, trained up on their fourth skill. You know, I'm going to go see if I can do this right now. I need another 3,000. Or I could pay like 50 cents and get it right now. Well, I'm going to decide uh, in the morning. Okay, so um, that was the STI. If you have any comments, please post below.